good to be there. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little weather now, okay, because all eyes on our forecast as we are receiving remnants of Hurricane Helene. It's already canceled a number of events here in central Indiana. Let's get the latest. We're going to go now to meteorologist June Arsutis. Yeah, hey, everybody. It does seem like you saw those webcams shaking like a... Uh, you know, a branch in the wind. It certainly is breezy out there this afternoon. Cloudy, wet, the whole shebang. It's just, you know, this is good news. Uh, I mean, the good news is that, of course, this was this storm was a whole lot worse further down towards the south. We have plenty of fatalities that we're reporting, and we're going to be reporting more probably, unfortunately, over the next 24 hours. So uh, that keep in mind. But here's the good news is in our region, the most you'll really have to keep the storm in mind, I think, is really out there on those roadways. Otherwise, it's just going to be, you know, your normal average every everyday rainstorm kind of coming through basically just happens to be the remnants of a hurricane which uh, again right now isn't causing too much commotion around 70 degrees temperature there's some rain but not a lot here in Indianapolis there's some wind but not an incredible amount outside although there is enough to give a sporadic power outage or two and I certainly think that's possible that's why we have those high wind warnings across the state we'll talk about that in half a minute first let's take a look at the air mass which we have currently in our region which is uh, tropical maybe not you know the dead of the tropics in the middle of the summer, but it's definitely mild enough, but humid enough in central southern parts of the state with these mid to upper 60 dew points that uh, we are going to feel kind of sticky for the rest of the evening. And really a good chunk of this weekend. There are those winds nice and strong out of the southwest. There's that 57 mile per hour wind gust reported in Columbus earlier. So you certainly think there could be another isolated gust of that strength somewhere here in central and central eastern parts of the state. And even if you're out in central western out near Terre Haute, Washington, you're still in this high wind warning area. So again, Usually when we get these high wind warnings, there will be a power outage or two, uh, but it's not going to likely be widespread. Uh, so most folks will likely be able to keep their uh, power on just fine throughout the majority of the day. And again, we are starting to see some of those stronger showers starting to move into the western part of the state, this area, which was tornado warned earlier, now just under a severe thunderstorm warning. So there are some push. There's some oomph to these storms moving in, but again, uh, most likely we aren't expecting too much, if any, severe weather here in our region moving on ahead uh, as we move into the next couple of days. There'll be a different story with this thing still in our neighborhood. The good news is the worst of the weather is certainly out east, not north of the system, which is where we currently have things going on. So as we move on ahead, you're going to see this future cast show chances for rain still in the forecast at times throughout the weekend. And even as we move into Sunday, I think chances for showers could be around. Let's take a quick look at our seven day forecast. Forecast now, Hensley Legal Group, as you can see, conditions moving into next week. Finally, clear out, cool down, and feel like fall.